All right, well, Mother's Day is just around the corner, so we wanted to share some of our really practical, useful gift ideas because honestly, my first thought was like, oh, I don't want anything. Don't bring, it, bring any clutter into my house right now. And my first thought was I want a nap. See? We, we try yeah. to wrap that up. <laughs> right, but I think we have some good ideas that are useful, consumable, and it make you feel really good about who you're helping to. So we'll share those. Well, so fun to have my twin sister Diana with us today. You haven't you haven't been here for a little while. I haven't even been here <laughs> for, a while, for a while. I mean, honestly, I no, I don't know when actually. Oh. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, your kids are really little yep. still, and so I do remember that stage. It's been easier for us to come to yes. your house. But Diana does have her own YouTube channel now, and I have been. I've actually been coming to you quite for quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. We actually just did some really fun Q&A. We got the best questions. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know one was like, would you like would you ever consider swapping lives or whatever? Swap it's kind of a husband life swap. <laughs> I'm like that would be a great And it was so funny reality because show. We both were like, no. no. <laughs> and it's like we both love our lives. Yes. But we could never imagine. They're so different. So in different. In every way. <laughs> in every way. So that was yeah. fun. And I was so glad we both were like, no. Like if one yeah. of us was like, yeah, yes, which we tried it. Yeah. yeah. Then, <laughs> Let's talk about some practical gift ideas because, again, to set the stage for Mother's Day, it's complicated, it's emotional. Sometimes there's expectations that are unmet. Sometimes there's hurt feelings from past Mother's Day. So we totally. Or loss. Totally. All, yeah. So want to acknowledge that it can be, uh, there can just be a lot wrapped up into it. So we want to talk about the fun part today, <laughs> which can be gift giving, which can also be the stressful part of it. But if you need to ask for gifts for yourself or you want to give gifts to a mother in your life or mother figure, then let's share some practical and useful ideas today. Number one, a nap. I, <laughs> I'm all about asking for like Time meals off. to be made. Yeah coupons for that kind of thing. So will you get a nap on Mother's Day? So typically, well, I not in my house. So <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to come, here, come here? here? Yeah, yeah. We've gotten out with mom yeah, and gone fun. for lunch or coffee. That's yeah. one of my favorite traditions yes. that we've had. And it's kind of weird as moms that we need to like, we need a holiday or a reason. Sometimes we feel like to ask for those things right? or just to plan it and be intentional yes, about intentional. it. Mm -hmm. But definitely getting out for coffee or lunch has been a favorite for me. And mm -hmm. that right there would make me happy. Yeah, and I love getting gift cards for like coffee or mm -hmm. lunch places so you could go out with friends or different things like that. So that would probably be, yeah, that'd be one of my number one yep. gift ideas too. I was kind of like walking around our house too because I have gotten, see now that we have our house decluttered, I'm kind of into organizational things, oh. which never I never thought that would be me. Done. Do you know what one of my favorite things that we've gotten for our house is? The shampoo and conditioner and body wash dispenser in the shower. Like at a hotel? It has already paid for itself with how little shampoo we go through now. I feel like it has cut it, we use a third of the shampoo and body wash that we use with all the kids and everybody. No kids, I totally yeah. get it. it. It dispenses just the right amount and then you don't have those bottles sitting on the shelves. 100, yeah. I'm, it was, okay, so I made sure to get like a good one because a, it's just adhesived to the shower your wall, so you don't want it coming down, no. you want it to function well. So it was like $80 on Amazon. Okay. So that's where this gift, like, you know, for Mother's Day or Christmas or something could be a good idea. I would buy that over and over again. And you think it, you've already paid for $80? Well, of probably what, not, okay. quite. not But, like, but, yeah. but the concept. Yeah. Okay. It'll pay for itself. All yeah. right. And I know everyone talks about the baggy holder divider drawer. I love it. I love it. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, and one other thing I didn't think I would enjoy as much as I do is the water bottle shelf. Now you put yeah. your water bottles and we stuff a in a drawer. Mm -hmm. Ours are still in the old fashioned cabinet. It just, it contains them and you can see them all. None get shoved to the back and it limits how many you can have. I don't know, it just makes my heart happy when I open that cabinet. I, I feel like you're growing up like right before our eyes. Like this is, yeah. <laughs> like other women are like, oh my goodness, Dawn, I've been I've like getting years. excited yeah. about this stuff for 15 years. Yeah. And you know, you're, wow. I know, I just, I Oh, know. but things in order 
it, it feels just good. It brings peace, mental clarity. Maybe it's because we all, I don't know. Does it feel like things are extra chaotic in life right now? I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's spring and all the spring activities and things are picking up. Well, we're gonna pop over to my channel next. Yeah. And we'll link to that below. I have some statistics on stress, burnout for moms. It's at an all time It was actually high. very validating when you were telling me about it. It's so really it's not meant to be right a now. Debbie Downer. It's, no, it's, it's, it's a I validation. Be, we're gonna yeah. validate you and mm -hmm. and we're not gonna fix. But yeah. I feel like if you, can, if you can feel validated in that, just like today, like, yes, we can go out to lunch, yeah. then you can find solutions. True. Okay, I like it. Link okay. below. Some feel good gifts. So I love that we have been able to partner with Empowered Goods, which makes really cute earrings, and then Mercy House Global. We had shared the birthday box we got uh, so a little fun. over a year ago. It was, I, no, now please hear me out. I don't normally like subscription boxes because I just feel like you get a bunch of stuff you never use. Yeah. When I opened that box, I was like, this is everything I would use and it was cute and practical. It was so fun to receive. And then when I learned about their mission and how they're helping women, I was like, okay, done. I'll just get all the gifts for everyone through you now yeah. because you actually feel good about the money that you're spending. Okay, uh, one other thing I wanted to highlight with Mercy House Global is they have their monthly candle club called Grace Flame. The candles are so beautiful. And so it's $21 a month. You can cancel anytime. This is where I wish you could smell <laughs> this. It is so good. But of course, the coolest part is that your purchase is helping refugees in Texas. So you're helping them uh, to make a fair wage. This was made by Muna. And it says she's a mother to a young son and carries the weight of helping provide for her aging parents. This family relocated to Houston from Syria in the refugee resettlement program. Muna has become a skilled candle maker in a short time and is eager to use her creative skills to help her family. Muna is one of the hardest working home workers connected to Mercy House Global. Darn it. Isn't that so cool? And so again, I just love gifts where you just feel really good getting them and receiving them as well. We also have a special code that will get you free shipping too. So I'll put all those details in the description. And especially on Mother's Day, knowing that you're helping moms yeah. keep and feed their children or keep them safe. I know in Mexico, a big thing is uh, moms can work from home then with some of these different items. And so then they can keep their kids close. Yeah. And so it's just, I mean, so on Mother's Day, that just makes so much sense. Yeah. And it continues to blow my mind how, how just like what is so little to us is so much to them, yeah. right? In regards, of, in regards of income and how, when we all collectively just do these little things, it makes a gigantic difference. And so it's so fun. And then you feel good about the earrings and stuff. <laughs> exactly. And especially when it feels like even the moms in our lives maybe don't need anything more. Yes. Yes. Giving a purposeful gift then does feel good on both sides. Yeah, and it is, I do think that the recipients, when they mm -hmm. get it and they see the little card of who made it and they feel, yeah, they do feel really good about it too. So. That has been really fun. So um, let's see, what are some other things that are useful and practical? I would never turn down a gift card to like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. It's just fun. Get something seasonal. You know, I had to get a new top for spring. Yeah, me too. I'm still not positive about it, but you know, Diana said she really liked like it, it and yep. she's, she would know, right? <laughs> I would tell you. So, and I have, like, I'm okay. Every season now I get like two new tops. Yep. I get more because of video and many of you say that you don't like seeing me in the same thing. I would I would get by with less <laughs> if it weren't for that. Diana's just like, oh. Uh, Dawn would never get dressed I would, every day. I, I honestly would continue wearing black every single day and it's fine, totally fine. But I love you and some of you don't care, but some of you do. Um, and so, uh, so I do enjoy getting like a couple new tops each season. But that's okay because I keep my wardrobe so simple and now I'm very intentional. I mean, I don't know, Diane, if you caught the butter dish saga, but I'm very intentional yes. about the things that I'm buying now. And so I don't mind going in and spending a little bit. Or I really like getting just one or two seasonal decoration pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of that spark joy concept yeah. of just having one or two little pieces yeah. for the season that just kind of freshen up the space and bring some happiness. But then again, they fit in these clear totes. Mm -hmm. They go back on the shelf and, and then next year it's like a surprise all over. <laughs> I kind of regret, I had shown in my Thrift With Me video, we went to Goodwill and they had these really cute, they were like figurines, they were like little houses and they had bunnies oh, crawling over it and, and the boys were with it and they liked it too. 
and they were only $2.99 each and I'm like, I almost got them, but they were music boxes. Oh. And I was just like, oh, I just, yeah. I just already hear the kids fighting like, don't turn that on. I don't want to listen to it. Like, and so I didn't. But I have, I continue to think about those, Aww. and I was like, oh, maybe I should have got. Anyways, I'll I'll get something next you year. See them. But <laughs> and I still below. actually don't know if I would want them because of the music box. Yeah. But you can break off the little switch. Yeah, but it is fun to not have to like store and organize and keep like loads and loads of stuff from past seasons, and to just have a really manageable amount. Maybe get one new thing each season, yeah. pass on other stuff. I do. I agree. I think that's super fun. Granted, our house is very small, so two bunny figurine things would like make it feel like it's yeah. decorated <laughs> for Easter. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And I still very much like my pink Bible. It's a yeah. NIV study Bible and the tabs that go yeah. on it. And then have you seen these? These are like a cute little thing that goes around it that you can put your pen or Bible highlighter in. Aww. And they have like a bunch of different patterns. It's actually like a really pretty like leather one. Or you can put it like if there's like a Bible study book you're doing like when you go to Bible Aww. study or it was just kind of fun. And it just, I don't know, it just, the pattern just kind of made me, yeah, it kind of looks like a headband too. See? Seasonal, multi-purpose. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know. I had extra you can, coffee. You can have your pen in there. <laughs> You're like, do you need a pen? Okay, I got it for you. <laughs> this is what happens when I leave the house. <laughs> uh, it's fine. No judgment here. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> so anyways, Super I cute. just thought these were kind of cute. But that would just be a fun little gift, even with a fresh pen or something. Yeah, if you have like Bible study women or uh, friends. Yeah, how or... many are in there? This was a four pack. Yeah, so oh, there's another pattern. Oh my. That's cute. That'd be a better headband. <laughs> that would go more with your shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's oh, really that cute too. Cute. That's such a great idea. Yeah, so I just thought they were kind of fun. Um, and that could be used for a regular book too. Oh like yeah. if someone's in a book club or... Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And we really like, I'll link to two, the Bible highlighters. Um, I know mm -hmm. you've shared them before. Those are kind of fun. Yep. Yeah, that kind of stuff has been fun to get. You can't go wrong with fresh flowers, can you? Flowers are great. I had gotten um, a subscription for, I won it. It was like a flower of the month. So every month we would get, I would get a bouquet of flowers That's in the mail. Amazing. That was super cool. <laughs> so especially it went through the winter. And so we were getting these like beautiful flowers. Yeah, I would I would recommend that. But yeah, flowers, uh, flowers to plant outside. I know our mom mm. loves getting gift certificates or things to be able to, to plant flowers. Man, oh, especially here in Minnesota. Let's go look at flowers. <laughs> And I should mention too that our Take Your House Back course is open, also makes a really great Mother's Day gift. I have to still uh, check on the basement uh, daily to make sure the sump pump is kicking on and that there is not standing water. Oh no, I can... Do you see that? That is water <laughs> down there. All right. That means that I have work to do. I know I shared about this in, a, in my YouTube video on Tuesday, but it just struck me so much that in the past, water in the basement meant Dawn was working for hours uh, because it was mostly, like I had put the stuff there, it was my stuff, Tom would help too, but I felt guilty because it was all my stuff. It meant I would be working down there for hours this weekend instead of getting to plant flowers <laughs> and start seeds. It just really has struck me recently that I did the hard work of simplifying our house about eight years ago, but the benefits, like I am just getting to enjoy them every Every single day and every weekend and so uh, we have our next all day declutter coming up on Saturday May 6th and so we would love for you to get into the course before then uh, right now it's just $94 normally $597 so it's a huge savings and we do have some payment plans too and so I think that would make a really awesome Mother's Day gift and then we can be spending all of our free time doing the things we want to be doing right and not worrying about silly basements and organizing and cleaning and all that kind of stuff like what would be, do you still ask for things like purses or like fancy things for gifts? I don't know, have have a lot of us got to that place where we get it for ourselves? Like I'll save up, yeah. you know, if something's really important to me because uh, I think I got tired of sending the shopping links. Okay. You know, and then knowing what I'm getting. And so for me now with this season of life with really small kids, mm -hmm. it's the time out. It's the, yeah, it's the I think so. quality time together that's really driving me. Yeah. I think that's what I'm feeling too. And isn't it amazing how we can all feel lonely even with people around us or stuff going on around us? Like it's really like that, like that deep connection. We're just, 
Not yeah, getting... that's what we'll talk about is stay-at-home moms are mm -hmm. actually experiencing the most burnout right now. Yeah. And I really think it's the isolation. And yeah. so, but I know all moms feel that. And 30% mm -hmm. of moms don't talk about it because they don't think it'll do any good. Yeah. So, yeah. So again, we're going to just validate and yeah. uh, understand where we're all at. But then I feel like, you know how your mind kind of goes to work on a problem and then you're brushing yeah. your teeth and you're like, oh, that mom's group. Or that small group or that lady down the street mm -hmm. actually you know we kind of got along okay you know what i mean how you yeah. just kind of start to think of solutions if you identify the problem i actually was just reading a thing and it said set your mind to work your subconscious if you have a problem to solve set your mind to work on it before you go to bed i think yeah. some of us worry maybe we'll like rerun it but like yeah there is a way that's probably another thing i would ask for like i really enjoy reading fiction before yeah. bed so gift cards for kindle or barnes and noble or something like that. I know we can get them from the library, but like, I don't know. I like reusing my Kindle to read books on. Do it, so. Yeah. I have a, li I have a library card now. Do you? The kids. Yeah. Yeah, we went for the first time. Yeah. Oh, was that fun? Yeah, go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all my free time. Okay, yeah. yeah right? just, go uh, get some books. Okay. What I like about the library, what, go ahead. I was gonna say, we share a Kindle. I mean, you yeah. and mom share a login, so there's always something to there's read. There's always something to read. I'm like, don't mess with my spot. <laughs> I don't need to go to the library. <laughs> that's funny. I actually really like, does your library have like the staff picks when you walk in the door? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. I actually, I've gotten a lot of books from there. Um, and I mean, sometimes you're like, I'm sorry, who recommended? <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Wow, this like, it's like a window into their soul, you yeah. know? No, I'm just kidding. But, um, but a lot of those have actually been really good. I have had to learn, there's some, it's, it's, it says on it like lucky you, they're the new books and that they're actually in stock is like oh. a big deal, but you only get them for a week. And I can't do that. I've tried. I'm like, oh, that's a good deadline to yeah. read this book by. And so I'm like, yeah. okay, I'll really? get it. Yeah. And then, no, that doesn't work. And then I feel bad because then I have it for two weeks and someone else hasn't got to check it out. Unlucky. So they're not lucky. Right. <laughs> and, then, and I think Becoming Mrs. Lewis is still oh, that's a favorite. Good. And that's free, I think, on Kindle Unlimited. Or it was for a little bit. It might be. Yeah. yeah. Or at your that library. was really good. It was um, the woman who married C.S. Lewis. That was fascinating. But I you get like that. a picture into his life yeah. too. Super interesting. It was really interesting. And really yes. well written. Yeah, I would recommend that. Otherwise, I don't have a lot of good recommendations because I, I do pick a lot of books from like the Kindle Unlimited for free, yeah. and a lot of them are not good. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> so, then I'm like, I'm not recommending that. I'm like, go, oh, people think of me then. <laughs> so, <laughs> and everybody's taste is so, so different. different. So, so different. <laughs> use Goodreads. Like, just use Goodreads if you are Ask looking your for friends. More. Ask your friends. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I did decide, thank you to all your help, I am gonna keep the Pioneer Woman butter dish. Isn't it so pretty, Diana? It's so pretty, even that little glass knob on I top. Know, right, doesn't it just make your heart happy? Yes. So we're officially unpackaging it now. I've, I've had it for like three weeks and not, I haven't, because I just was so <laughs> unsure about it. Okay. Oh, it even oh, has like a plaid bad. bottom. So again, I don't generally like this style because I, the butter you put it on, it gets, it gets all it. Mm -hmm. But we're rotating every stick of butter so they get washed more because it never gets washed. The kids just yeah. keep putting butter in. So the rule is when it's empty, it goes to the dishwasher and then you use the other one. Okay. So we'll see. I have no idea if that's going to work or not, but isn't it pretty? That is so pretty. That's just from Walmart? Yeah. And because it sits out, like I don't have a lot of things that sit out, but this sit out. I want it to be a piece of art. <laughs> so, <laughs> and do you know the green cake stand that I have? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that is Pioneer Woman from Walmart as well. Oh. That was a gift. That was. I think it, you can never go wrong with a cake stand as a gift too. Thank you. Did you notice my? Uh, you got a new, new one. Cake stand. Yeah. And doesn't it look nice with all my cake stands on my open shelves? Oh, it looks like a little bakery in here, don't right? I like so. It. Anyways, so we're officially keeping this. It's beautiful. Um, I had considered the Butterbell and then I, yeah, I appreciate your comments so much. Show us the Butterbell. Because, so oh many of you have said you like it because it keeps the butter soft all year, but you have to change the water in it and you have to smash the butter into it. And so that is just oh. extra steps that will oh, not happen in not my household. <laughs> like. I would love to say we're the type of people that will do that and we're responsible people that can take care of butter. We go through so much that I just don't see that happening. And that's what some of you had said in the comments. Yeah. They're like, go to the thrift store, you'll see them. I have not seen them in our thrift stores. I think it's more of a European thing, but- My um, butter stays soft. 
Does oh, ours not? doesn't. But we keep our house a lot colder than you. I have it's always tropical. And I have little kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It gets oh, hard it in gets the winter. Hard? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I really haven't been here. No, I know. <laughs> so it's okay. We'll just keep melting it in the microwave. Everyone's getting better at it. <laughs> it doesn't turn into the puddle anymore. So it's, it's good life skills that we're God, learning. just turn up the heat. Turn no. up the heat. No. <laughs> no. My family needs to learn these skills. I'm toughening them up, right? <laughs> oh, Diana. <laughs> yep. Here's what we would love. We would love to know, do you have any practical, useful, help other people type of gifts? I love coupons. Like if the kids give me coupons for things, I love homemade meals, anything like that. So share your ideas down below as well. That is really helpful. But ultimately we hope that you have a really great Mother's Day. We hope that your expectations are met, that you feel loved and all of that. And if you do wanna hang out a little bit longer, we're gonna head over to Diana's channel now too.